Creativity is an important part of what you do at your agency. Absolutely. And, and targeting millennials and now the next generation, Generation Z, um, how important is content and creativity going to, how critical is it going to be as far as your margin of error as a marketer? I think it's, I mean, it's the most important. We have the technology to execute the apps and the platforms and all that, but the development, the time, and even the resources spent on content creation and creative in general has to increase because if that layer is not right, they're gone. And you don't have as many opportunities to interact with that consumer as you did or as you think that you do. So you need to really get it right first off or that could be it. So going back to my comment, the margin of error. It's shrinking. Shrinking. <laughs> Massively. So I read an article that said that pretty much any sort of branded content piece of video you, you got to nail it in the first eight seconds. Yep. True or false? Totally true. We, we've been thinking about how the paradigm shift of video links needs to be more retrospective of mobile in general because our attention span is shortening at such a, a rate. You know, I think, what, 10 years ago, we had like a five minute or eight minute, and it was like four minutes a couple years ago, two minutes, and it just keeps shrinking every year because we have so much data, so much opportunity, so much things flying around that you had better hit it right away or I'm out. I have other resources or other things that I could connect with from a content standpoint that are gonna offer me more value. Couple more questions. What are you excited about and for 2015 in this mobile space? You know, you, you know, you have seen it from its early days and now we're at this very interesting, very, very rich, it's part of everyone's conversation in the market. What are you personally excited about from your perspective? Well, personally, I'm excited that creativity is really about to matter, okay? I've spent a lot of time trying to bring it to the forefront, and now it's more apparent than ever that creative and content are absolutely relevant. Um, I'm also excited about experiential, because I think that there is a massive opportunity for us to create better digital experiences for consumers at events. Um, as someone who enjoys events in general, whether it's business or, or personal, I really want to take advantage of all the technologies that we have that are that can be used or better utilized at events. Whether that's our social Instagram, Facebook, et cetera, sharing, whether that's Snapchat, whether that's beacons and drones, whether that's shortened video, whatever that is, all of that can be better utilized, specific around events and experiential. And then tell us more, because you've talked about it on the other panel, but in this video, about drones and beacons. You guys have done pioneering work in that. Why did you do it? And where do you think it's going to take you? Well, I, why did we do it? I think as a kid, you know, I always thought it'd be cool to have a remote control plane. And then, you know, I, a couple years ago, I spent my summer in Montauk learning how to fly a helicopter. And like, it's, you know, helicopters are very, very difficult. And you really understand when you see helicopters, like it's pretty dangerous. And then the idea of a drone, because of the, the fixed wings, it makes it a much more stable kind of thing. So getting back to the experiential, it just kind of made sense that, well, every event that I'm going to nowadays has a drone and it's kind of cool and everyone thinks it's great. And beacons, well, they need scale. So how do you create scale at an event? And so it, it kind of was, it came out of an idea with a client where she literally was like, I need something super sexy. And, and you know, drones, yeah, that's fine. And yeah, everyone's talking about beacons. I was like, what about beacons and drones? And so then we thought about how we would want to own the creative push notification because that layer and that delivery to your device should be better than it is. Right, right now it's simply, oh, go get a dollar off your Coke or hey, thanks for this. What's the next layer? Is it the video? Is it you know video without audio? Is it is it a, a Snapchat branded experience? What is that experience? So so I'm excited about kind of marrying all of those as we move forward and how to help brands connect with their audiences better, but also help consumers have better digital takeaways. So you take that reward so that you've gone to that next tier yeah. of engagement yeah. and you respond to the drone and the beacon yeah. and that gets you the VIP section in Coachella. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, well, how many times can I walk by the booth or hope that I'm picked for something or text 555 to the screen? What's next? What's, our job is to be at the front of innovations, specific, especially around mobility. So we think this is a nice opportunity to kind of offer new value and kind of personalize uh, you know, kind of connections and, and data for people.